is uh, Chief Keita Corston. My Indian name is Kasuinanu. In English, that's uh, Eagle Man. When I think about indigenous people across the globe, I think that uh, prior to European contact, the people were very strong, and I believe that the uh, the uh, the genocide uh, that the newcomers was very specific in making the people weak. And that's why we have to go back to our ceremonies to recover that again. Indigenous people throughout are not healed and well. And that has nothing to do with them being a weak people because a, 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 lesser, a lesser people would have folded, crumbled a long time ago because of the, the genocide and the, uh, all the things, uh, residential school and the breaking down of families, the breaking down of culture, the breaking down of language. It was a very definite uh, 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 plan on the part of government to strip them of everything so that they became weak because it's very hard to work with strong people. So this is why when we, we said we have to focus on healing and wellness, when you're healed and well, then you can move on into your governance and you can move on into your economic development because if you're not healed and well, it's doomed from the start. We're, we're into some economic development here. We're a very progressive reserve. We uh, uh, Financially, uh, we're in good shape. We've always been. Uh, we do things differently here, the council and I. Uh, the grassroots is, is where it all starts. It's people first. It's not top down, it's bottom up. It's got to be the people, it's got to be about the people, and it's got to be about community, and it's got to be about developing not only your economic development, but developing yourself as a human being. And it's something that every Anishinaabek person has, and because we know that everything is interconnected. We've always known that. Like in that circle of life, the smallest thing is as important as the largest thing. That's really a part of Native culture is the balance, the balance between man and woman. It has to be balanced and, and the non-Native people took that away. They, they made it all, you know, male dominated on everything because they didn't want the balance. Because if you don't have balance, then you seize opportunity for power and control. Indian people knew that you couldn't have that. If, if it's not balanced, it's not well. If it's not well, you're going to get sick. I, I see the, uh, the capitalist way is crumbling now because it's top down and it can't work. You know, somehow uh, people in the world today have come to believe because of the, they're at the high end of the food chain, it gives them the right to, uh, to destroy everything beneath them. And I think that's the effects that you're seeing now globally. I mean, the, the capitalist people in the globe today, wherever they may be, I mean, they're, they, they're, they're so bent on making money, I mean, they're not even listening to their own scientists anymore. So not only are they not listening to us, they won't even listen to their own so-called, you know, smartest brains that they have. We, we recognize that we could not do that, that we had to be protectors of Mother Earth, and that's the red man's gift, is to be protector of Mother Earth. So, and when we were looking at our healing and wellness strategy, uh, we built a, a turtle lodge over there, and the turtle represents Turtle Island. And we bring a lot of different people in uh, to do teachings and help with, uh, with those ceremonies. You know, our ceremonies are very important to us because they really bring back that, that, that uh, feeling that we're one with Creator, and uh, everything is significant from the, the pipe to the to the sage we burn, to the tobacco, you know, and it's very, very important to make the people strong again. The one thing that's really important is we have to bring the language back. The language is lost to many of us because of, uh, because it was uh, forced away from us, a big part of it through residential school. So it's very important that we bring back our culture to the people to make them strong again, and I see it coming back. I'm very happy of that. Mm -hmm.